And the Houston Arrows are four and a half minutes away from celebrating with it for the first time. They lead the Bulldogs by three. And what a dagger, John, courtesy of a power play of Rastislav Pavlikovsky. He surely finished it and put it in behind the goaltender at the right time. That insurance goal is such a big goal. Anything could have happened with a two-goal lead. But now this three-goal lead, tough to come back. McCulloch and Cullen, they've had a strong night, as have all the arrows in hockey. And now two-on-one forming. Hogan with Tuzzolino. Hogan hangs on, shot it over top of the cage. Good opportunity for the 25-year-old from Hope, British Columbia. Bobby Allen. Luan failed to steer it into the arrow zone. It just has not been the Bulldogs night. Bergeron and Allen for Yanni Rita. And Gratton is about a half a stride too quick on the offside. For Houston, the reason it's been so difficult for Hamilton against Houston is because they have a big squad. They play a much more physical game. In my mind, I think Hamilton has a more skilled club but this Houston Arrow team plays a solid defensive style of game, and they capitalized on the opportunities that they did have in this game. And they're out shooting Hamilton 44-27. They really dodged a bullet early, I thought, when Hamilton recorded 10 of the first 14 shots in the hockey game. But before the end of the first period, 16-1 was the advantage the rest of the opening 20 minutes. And they really, John, for the most part, other than some good flurries in this third period, have really never looked back. No, they really haven't. Hamilton's tried so hard all game long. They've had a few flurries. They've had a couple opportunities. But the most consistent team has been the Arrows. They played solid in all ends of the ice and all aspects of the game. And both two coaches knew the first 10 minutes of, the, of this game was the most important part. And Houston did weather that storm. They did indeed, and then put on a storm of their own. A late goal in the second period as well. A big one in this contest. For Houston in that second period. All right, well, fans, Three minutes, 12 finish. seconds left. Ty Conklin has left his net. Marc-Andre Bergeron has, been, has come on to the ice. They need to get something. They need to get a goal to try to create something. Three, three minutes is a lot of time. If they can get one now, it may help. Well, you've got nothing to lose. That's right. Good move by Jeff Ward. The net of the Bulldogs is empty. Bergeron can't hold it in. Commissary pins Bergeron, Torres, Lindsay, and Ward. All the gutters. Pins slides it in behind Lindsay. Ladislav Benesek will drive it right into Lindsay. Kluche's played an excellent defensive game to help out. Bergeron threw a screen. It was blocked by Cullen. Jason Ward chops at it. Kluche taps it in David Cullen. On the boards, Torres will get there. But he can't handle it. And Henderson will delicately flip it back into Bulldog territory. Bergeron relays it to Hins, and it's blown down on an offside pass. And it's been that kind of night for the Bulldogs. Just inches away as Bergeron is really frustrated. Well, Marc-Andre Bergeron not happy with Kevin Hastings' call for that two-line pass. He thought that he'd gained the blue line, but you can see the frustration in his face. There's nothing more frustrating. You're trying to make things happen out there, and it's just not happening. The bounces are just not going the Bulldogs' way. Wallin with a goal and an assist. Bayeux with a huge late goal with 152 to go in the second period. Made it 2 nothing, And then a late third period power play goal by Rastislav Pavlikovsky. Ryder hooked off the puck by Jeff Hogan. And that's the kind of defensive effort the Arrows have responded with all night. Hainsey and Benoit Graton. Sal Malanen. Racing in after it with Roach. Roach wins the battle. Now he loses it. Hainsey behind the net. Plays it. Rita from a sharp angle. And Holmquist makes the save. Here's our game review. Houston leading it 3-0. 
Yeah, no question. 33-15, the shot time goal through two periods. Ricard Wallin, the 23-year-old Swede, scored the game's opening goal and made a very nice pass on the Bayou goal. And Ty Conklin has tried to do everything he can to keep his team in it, but it just has not been the Bulldogs' night. You can't forget Johan Holmquist, how solid he has been in the pipes. Any opportunity that Hamilton has had, especially on that last play right there. Nice play by Hainsey to get the puck out front to Yanni Rita. But Holmquist is not allowing any rebounds. The puck would come to him. It looked like it's in an awkward position, but he covers up, and there's not a lot of second shot or opportunities. And, John, I thought he looked terrific in the first four or five minutes. I remember an early save off Jason Ward on a lovely three-way passing play. I mean, he just has been rock solid from the opening faceoff. And Todd McClellan knows what a horse he's been. The Bulldogs, they need a minor miracle now. Trailing by three with less than two minutes to go. Thomas Eric. Wrist shot to flex wide. Torres. Thomas Eric. Finds Jason Ward. Ward, look how they are packed back. The arrows in front of their netminder. Lindsay. Luce, Diamond. Torres with a puck. Rafi Torres to the line of Bergeron. Takes a shot. Loose in front, Lindsay chopped at it. Holmquist stopped it on the short side. Luce broke his stick, attempting to clear it. Back to the line, it goes Bergeron. Wrist shot, deflected, loose in front, Torres! Oh, that is an absolutely scintillating stop by Johan Holmquist! Well, a goaltender coming up big like this is an incredible sight to see, and you can see Holmquist is just pumped in game one, he made at least four stops to steal the game from Hamilton. And right here is another perfect example. Down and out, sprawling across, makes the save. But right here, Torres gets a chance, makes the stop, and the reaction is what says it all for Holmquist. He knows it's been his night, and it has. His 31st save of the game is his best. Is Rafi Torres with a glorious opportunity and failed to beat number 29 of the Arrows. And the excitement on the Arrows bench is starting to mount. They're a minute four away from winning a title. Puck dropped unfairly, so they'll do it again, or at least that combined with a clock problem. Todd McClellan, six years at the helm of the Swift Current Broncos of the Western Hockey League before coaching in Cleveland and then the last two years here in Houston. And he's done an excellent job. 35 years old, Johnny started coaching when he was 24. Experience behind the bench, just putting time in is he's going to make him a much better coach and he's done a tremendous job with this team. Net still empty. Hainsey towards Mike Ryder. Cullen took a little extra time, couldn't clear, and then it's gloved from one Bulldog to another. Johan Holmquist. Matt Domichelli, who was a finalist in 1998 as a member of the St. John Flames. Curtis Murphy, who won a collegiate title with the University of North Dakota and also won an IHL crown with the Orlando Solar Bears. Bergeron. As the countdown is well underway, Luan carries it in on the offside. John, i just like to say we've had a great time this year broadcasting the American Hockey League. The entertainment, the product has been terrific, and this final series has brought with it just about all you could ever want. The American Hockey League is such a terrific hockey league. They've got a lot of young players, and this Hamilton Bulldogs team, we've done a lot of their games this year. They are so skilled. They had so much talent, and everybody thought they were going to walk away with it. This Houston team came in and really played well, taking two games out of their uh, Hamilton building. McCulloch trying for the open net. Missed. Eight 
seconds to go. What a performance by the Houston Arrows. They are the 2003 Calder Cup champions. Johan Holmquist, 31 saves for the shutout. And if I'm not mistaken, his first shutout of the playoffs. What a time for it in Game 7. Well, we mentioned it in the opening. A goaltender can win you a championship, and Holmquist does his best in this game and shows how good of a goaltender he is, how mentally tough. And in this game, he wasn't faced from the duck drop of that puck with Hamilton put pressure on early in the game. Holmquist stayed his ground, didn't panic, and all game long, just patience and the mental toughness and how calm in the net he was. It's just an amazing sight to see. Is the 2003 Jack Butterfield Trophy winner as the playoff MVP and well deserving as we take a look at Michael Commissar. Hamilton with just such a fabulous season. They won 49 times during the regular season, 110 points to lead the American Hockey League. A tremendous marriage of two organizations that comes to an end with this loss tonight between the Edmonton Oilers and the Montreal Canadiens. Next year, the Oilers farm team will play out of Toronto and be known as the Roadrunners. Hamilton will be solely affiliated with the Montreal Canadiens. What a hockey team, loaded with talent, loaded with first round picks. But on this night, the Arrows, without a doubt, John, played a spectacular road game. They were the much better team in this game. Hamilton failed to capitalize on their opportunities earlier. They had a couple power plays early in the first period. They didn't have that in game six. Houston had four opportunities. They didn't score on theirs. The power plays can lose you a series. And in the game here early on, when Jeff Ward and his Bulldogs knew how important it was to get a good start and get on the board early, they just failed to do it. They couldn't get on track. And the bounces just didn't go their way. Let's send it down now to ice level. RJ Broadhead is standing with Nat Dominicelli. Well, thanks very much, Peter. Uh, no stranger to championships. Uh, Nat, you won two Memorial Cups with the Kamloops Blazers. Where does a Calder Cup fit in, in in your order or packing order of championships? Well, it's definitely sweet. Uh, it's not the NHL, but when I got sent down this year, our team had a goal, and it was a long year. I mean, we made a lot of sacrifices. A lot of guys spent a lot of time away from their family and friends and it's really worth it. It, it. It's been a long haul, and we always thought we'd win, and now it's come true. It's been a great year for us. What a fantastic job in this seventh game. Uh, you really shut down a pretty high-powered offense. Well, they always said offense wins games and defense wins championships, and we proved it tonight. Uh, we made a trade for a goaltender, and we give up two pretty character guys in Lawrence Nicolette and Corey with the Rose, and they were a big part of our team. And it's sad to see him go, but Johan played well for us. And uh, it goes out to everybody part of the played in Houston in the past and now present. This is a lot of people putting in a lot of time. Matt, congratulations. Thanks a lot. I just want to say hi to my parents, my fiance in Atlanta. I'm coming home. It's been a long year, but we're done. Matt Dominic Kelly, a champion with the Houston Arrows. Peter? Thanks so much, RJ. Nat Dominic Kelly, a very key member of this Houston Arrow team. We now turn it over to the presentations and the public address announcer, Mr. Bill Sturm. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome the president and CEO of the American Hockey League, David Andrews.
most valuable player award in the Calder Cup Championship has won 15 games in goal for his team, Johan Holmquist. For the AHL and the Bulldogs, we thank you for your attendance this year. Our congratulations to the Houston Owls. We look forward to a new and exciting season next year for the Bulldogs. And until then, Bill Sturm reminding you tomorrow at noon, be at City Hall. championship game. Ricard Waleen from Sweden with a goal and an assist. He scored the game's opening goal. Made a key pass late in the second period and Johan Holmquist the championship series MVP who came over in a trade late in the year from the New York Rangers organization and my oh my did that pay some huge dividends. Well the American Hockey League there's such a turnover in this league. Guys going up to the NHL. Guys coming down and and to, to acquire a goaltender like Holmquist to come into this team and then do the job that he has provided for the Arrows is quite an accomplishment for this team. On the topic of the MVP of the championship series, he's standing by with our RJ Broadhead. Well, Johan Holmquist was absolutely fantastic all series long, all season long, and especially in this game seven. Johan, uh, maybe just your thoughts on, on this game seven. You shut out a very powerful offensive team. Well, we, uh, I, it's a big, big credit for the, the whole team today. We, I think we were, we were very ready for this game. We uh, had a couple of days here in Hamilton to get prepared for this game. And, uh, and the whole, the whole series long in Hamilton, they just ran us over the first 10, 15 minutes every game. And we had, we said, said that we have to be prepared for the first 10 minutes. And I think we were very prepared tonight. And, uh, and then um, I get a, like, a lot, couple of lucky saves for the whole team. Unbelievable job, and I mean, I like it. I think you're being modest about the lucky saves. You were absolutely fantastic. How much experience did you guys gain from that seven-game series against Grand Rapids to maybe help you in the final against Hamilton? Oh, definitely. It helped us a lot. We, uh, we, 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 it was no panic at all after last game. Uh, we said that it's going to be an unbelievable feeling. Full, full house in Hamilton, Game 7. And um, just stay focused and calm and uh, just go first. Well, Johan, I think your teammates are looking for you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Johan Holmquist, absolutely fabulous for the Houston Arrows, Peter. No question about that. And very deserving of being the championship series MVP. John Drews, what a series. It featured the longest game in American Hockey League history, Michael Ryder's goal at 14.56 of the fourth overtime period to tie the series in game two, an overtime game in game four when Stefan Bayou scored the winner 2.22.
into the overtime period that notched the series at two games apiece. Four games decided by one goal. The largest crowd in the history of the league here tonight in game seven. I don't know much what you would want in a seven game series that this one didn't provide. I know one thing. The head coach, Todd McClellan, and his coaching staff put together quite a plan for game seven, and he's with RJ now. Well, you're bang on, Peter. I, I know Todd McClellan is a modest fella, but you did a very good job to shut out a, a very tough team. Well, I don't know how much we did. Uh, we gave them some guidance, a bit of a blueprint, and they followed it. And really, at the, at the beginning of the year, we felt we had some good leaders and some very good followers, and they really stepped up to the forefront tonight. And what a feeling. Todd, uh, I'm sure there's so many guys that you think uh, were superb, but who are some of the guys that stood out? Uh, first of all, I would think... Oh! <laughs> I was going to say one big until that happened. <laughs> Pay for this dry cleaning bill. I don't. I don't care. It's well, you guys are overpaid at Sports Center anyhow. <laughs> Nat, <laughs> Todd, uh, just uh, you've you've had a lot of success in junior uh, throughout your coaching career. Where does this Calder Cup rank? Uh, it's it's the number one thing. Um, you know, we had some success in junior. We've had some success in the American League, but until you win the last game you play, you haven't really succeeded. And uh, this is a, a big reward for the players. I, you know, I think we're just. We're along for the ride as coaches when it gets to game seven, and uh, I'm so proud of the guys that are like, uh, you know, coaches often say they're like a bunch of sons, everybody but one big now. Fantastic, Todd. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> well, Todd won't be mad at Kyle Wanvig for very long, I don't think, because they're all a team. Peter? And they certainly played like it. John, a final thought from you? Well, I think the big picture here is for the Minnesota Wild organization. And I don't think Tom McClellan's going to have to worry about Kyle Wanvig for too long because I'm sure Wanvig is going to be up with the Minnesota Wild. And they have to be excited about what their organization has done this year in the Stanley Cup playoffs and with their minor league team winning the championship. They have a lot of talented young prospects who are going to be up with that club soon. Well, interestingly enough, two game sevens in hockey this week, both. 3-0 final scores as the Houston Arrows have won the 2003 Calder Cup. Johan Holmquist was a huge star in this game, the playoff MVP of the championship series, the 25-year-old Swede. We have thoroughly enjoyed bringing you American Hockey League hockey this season on Rogers Sportsnet. Quite an ending tonight. The Houston Arrows are the champions. Peter Lubardius, John Drews, and the rest of our cast here in Hamilton.